Uh, hello, my name is Joseph Chow, and just as cell phones, computers, TVs, and other technological devices have all become a part of everyday life, so, so too have video games. What I brought today is a Game Boy Color, which is basically a handheld device that plays video-based games, and just like Pokemon Silver version. I myself still play video games, although I no longer play with handheld games, I play video games instead. Uh, to me, video games are just a form of recreation that I enjoy, and it is a culture that I still identify with. This device in particular will help to show you how the culture of video games is both unique and evolving. I'll begin by explaining what exactly it is this device represents and how it pertains to it. Then I will explain what it is, uh, my own connection to the culture of video games. What makes video games unique is that they're both physical and virtual. So for playing a video game, it's just like reading a book. There's playing a video game is just like reading a book. So there, uh, a video game has a story, a plot, it has characters. The difference though between a player and a reader though is that a player, unlike a reader, can actually control the actions of a specific character, a set of characters, or in other cases, such as in first person shooter or real time strategy games, the player is the main character. They could be a general, a commander, a soldier, etc. Their actions are simply commanded through a set of keys or buttons. For my artifact in particular, it both changed and evolved over time. The Game Boy Color is actually part of a series of Game Boys that came out between 1989 till 2005. So, so for the Game Boy Color, it was introduced in 1998. And it was the first time a Game Boy had color. Before that, the Game Boy was only black and white with a neon green background. Following the Game Boy Color came the Game Boy Advance, which was had a wider screen, the game cartridges were also reduced in size by about half, and after the Game Boy Advance, then there was the Game Boy Advance SP, which was more compact, more pocket friendly, and it was also more, it also had a backlight. Then after the SP, the Nintendo DS came out in 2006, which essentially replaced the series of Game Boys. Nintendo's consoles have also adapted to a changing environment. Nintendo's consoles. So nowadays more and more things are becoming wireless, like phones are wireless, printers are now wireless, internet connections are now wireless. So for the earlier Game Boys, what would happen was if someone wanted to play with someone else, they would have to connect to the Game Boy cord, the cord would go right here. And but what the core did was it limited the number of people that could play at the same time, but it also limited how far apart they could be. For Nintendo, when the Nintendo DS came out, then it came with a wireless adapter, so people could not only play further apart from one another, they could also expand the number of people that could play at the same time. So this device, among other devices, helped to show how the culture of video games is both unique and how it evolves and changes over time, especially for handheld games. As for myself, I am still a gamer, and I play still play video games in my spare time. Something I tended to do for fun. When I was about six or seven years old, uh, I received my very first video game, which was Pokemon Silver version, and my very first game console was the Game Boy Color. Uh, as the years progressed, I also got the Game Boy Advance, the Game Boy Advance SP, and the Nintendo DS. After that, I stopped getting them because. I thought computer games were more fun, and I that's and the world of online gaming, which is what I played today. So as I now come to a conclusion, I have spoken to you today about what exactly this device is and how it pertains to the culture of video games. I have also spoken to you about how video games are unique and how they have changed over time. I have also spoken about my own connection to video games. As for as video games are now becoming more not only interactive, not only interconnected, but also more interactive, like Nintendo DS or the Nintendo Wii, one can only imagine what video games would be like in the future.